Everybody here? Ah, really? You are here in body and in mind? Ah, or just in body? Ah, in both. In mind, in speech, in body. Sometimes we are here in body, but not in mind. Huh? In mind means somewhere else. Body is here, but mind is in uh, Delhi or somewhere. Else. <laughs> but everybody is here. Um, Yesterday, <coughs> there were these four terms, mind, attitude, opinion, view, thought. We had these words, huh? So just before we start this Lam Ring Chamu, I want you to look at this. Uh. So what do we? View, attitude, mind, opinion, thought. I wrote some sentences. You must choose, which is correct. Then let. It's not so difficult. And sometimes more than one answer is possible. Just very little practice. Number one, believing you are better than everyone, everyone else, it should be everyone else, believing you are better than everyone is a bad what? Bad what? Come on. Answers, please. Attitude, everybody, attitude. Anyone, any, anything else? Who says attitude? Opinion. Who says opinion? Who says attitude? Only one person says attitude. What do you say? And you? Kyle of you. Attitude, mind. What? Which is the right one? What do you think? Come on, love that, you can speak. Attitude. 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 Opinion. Opinion. Attitude. Opinion. Not mind? Maybe thought. Huh? Thought? I'd like to know because then I, then I know, you know. Um... How many people says attitude? Put the hand up. Most. How many people say opinion? <laughs> Two. What about thought? Nobody. Mind? Nobody. Yes, the, very, the best answer is attitude. Right? A, 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 a bad attitude. Attitude is, is singular. It's countable now. One attitude, two attitudes you can have. A bad attitude to have. What is wrong with um, op opinion? It's not completely wrong. It's a bad opinion. But usually it's an opinion of something. Opinion, you have an opinion of. Now, of course this person has an opinion that... He or she is better than everybody else. I am better than everybody else. That is, in my opinion, I am better. That is an opinion. Of course. I have an opinion. Opinion means a particular way of thinking. A view. Opinion. The meaning is the same. But, as I said yesterday, we're not interested in meaning. We're interested in context. Which is the best one in this sentence? Most people, if you... 199.9% .9 people would say attitude here. Maybe one or two would say opinion, but most people would say attitude. Opinion is possible. Uh, view is also possible, a bad view. But it's correct, but it's not 
It's not used. Uh, thought usually refers to one thought, right? So if I think, you know, if I see somebody and I thought I think, you know, I'd really like to hit that person, then I think, oh, that was a bad thought. So thought is one. This is uh, believing. This is long, huh? long time. Believe today, tomorrow, next day, long time. It's, it's a belief. A thought is just usually, a thought is usually just one thought like this. In this sentence, a thought. You know, a thought. This is a, a thought. An opinion. A mind is a bad mind to have. No, doesn't work. Doesn't work. Sorry, don't know why, but it doesn't. A bad mind. It's not used like this. What about the next one? You are entitled to your comma, but I don't agree with it. Entitled. Can I not get to it? Entitled means that's also top down it. So 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 top down it. It is your right. Any ideas? Huh? View, thought, opinion. <laughs> How many people say view? How many people say uh, opinion? How many people say nothing? <laughs> How many people say, th did I say thought? How many say thought? Uh -huh. This is a very common expression in English, right? When two people are arguing, usually on television, you know, one politician, this politician says, I believe we should have higher taxes, and no, we should have lower taxes. And the other one says, okay, I don't agree. That is your opinion, it is not mine. And the word here is opinion. Usually opinion means a view, it's true. A view is okay. But the difference between view and opinion, view means the way things are. Opinion is the way things should be. A little different. If I say, um, I think that um, England is the best country in the world, right? Then someone says, well, that's your view. That's your opinion. Both are possible, but here view is okay. That's your view. You see England as the best country. That's your view. Opinion is mean, means I, the way something should be, should change. I think we should have uh, um, free hospital care. Like, you know, in America, that's my opinion. That's an opinion. So there, a view is possible here. Because we don't know, we don't know um, what they're talking about. We don't know. So view, and, but normally, 70, 80 percent opinion. Uh, you're entitled to your thoughts. No, thoughts. Yes, maybe thoughts. Your thoughts is okay, but your thought, very maybe five percent, ten percent possible, but no. You're entitled to your attitude. No, no, no. <laughs> Oh, well, maybe possible. No, it doesn't sound right. It sounds really strange. Attitude. You're entitled to your mind. <laughs> you know, entitled means. Can I? Can I? Top tongue is top tongue. Marabe. Top tongue. Ah, your rights. You are entitled. Entitled means you have a right. Of course. You're entitled. Everyone has a freedom of speech. Unless, of course, except for those poor people in France. But no people, you have freedom of speech. We should have freedom of speech. Um, and so you're entitled to that. You're entitled to freedom of movement, freedom of religion, freedom of speech. These are the United Nations, you know. This is your entitlement. This is top tongue, Marabe. This is top tongue. You say top tongue? This is your top tongue. His Holiness the Dalai Lama says, everyone is entitled to happiness. 
Kine Totare. From birth, this is your right, your birthright, entitled. But I don't agree with it. Okay, now, three and four are very similar, but the words are different. So practice virtue in what? Word and deed. Practice virtue with body, speech, and... So number three is what? Huh? And number four is? <laughs> Look at the other two, word and deed, right? Word and deed, these are what? These are objects, aren't they? You know, you say a word, you do a deed, you think a what do you think? What do you think? You think thoughts. You think a thought, you do a deed, and you speak a word. So number three is thought. In thought, not in mind. Why? You can say practice virtue in mind sounds a bit strange. It sounds like uh, you do it in the mind, but not in reality. It sounds a bit strange. So. Number three and four, same meaning. But number four is what? Body, speech, and mind. Why? This is subject. The body is what does the deeds, the speech is what makes words, and the mind is what you know, thinks or creates mental activities. So it's body, speech and mind, thought, word, deed. Remember this is very useful, these two are very useful. Thought, word and deed. And also practice virtue with. Number three, in. Okay, you practice in word, you practice in deed, you practice in, uh, in thought. We use in, not with. But the second one, body, speech, and mind, you practice with. You know? You practice with. Like you, you study with something. You study, you study with a computer. You, you write with a pen. You know? You eat with a, a spoon. This is with. This is what you use. But in means how you're doing it. In. Yeah? So, you know, sometimes we say... Uh, Oh, he's very good. In word, very good. Yeah? Indeed? No. Yeah. In word, yes, very good. Indeed, nothing. We say that sometimes. You know. You know. Um, in word, we say, uh, yeah, words and deeds must match. Yeah. So, yeah. In thought, in word and in deed. Did what? In deed. Deed's in an act or act action. Good deed, bad deed. You know, good word, bad word, good thought, bad thought. You don't say good body, bad body, do you? It's a subject, right? But you say, he has, we say, he has a good word for everybody. That means whatever he always talks, uh, uh, how you say, good about everybody. He always says nice things. He has a good word. Yeah, we use this, a good word. He has a good word for every, he has a good word for you. That means he speaks, how you say, to praise. He has a good word. Does this? Good deed. Oh. Okay, then body, speech, and mind. This is very much in, in Dharma, you know. You see this, lu nga yi kikone, lu nga yi kikone, lua. Gosum lua. Some translators, they translate gosum as the three doors. <laughs> this is door, terba. Go is not door. Go means, uh, how you say, uh, way, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Go ne. 
So don't translate three door. If you want to say, um, Kosum Gona Gewe Trup, you say practice, I use one of these two. Otherwise, three doors look so strange, you know. You know, you, know, you prostrate with your three doors. It sounds like you have these three heavy <laughs> doors on your head and you're prostrating. It's very difficult. So please, you know. But even, you know, many Western translators, they put three doors. They do, because they say go means door. They look in dictionary, or go is door. But go is more than door, isn't it? And in English too, door, doorway, gateway. You know, the gateway to... Uh, gateway to... <laughs> now number five. His something of the world is optimistic. Sorry? Opinion. Any, anybody else? Anyone? Huh? You? What do you? Any ideas? He's what of the world? He's optimistic. This means that um, I think everything. His holiness is, is optimistic, isn't he? He always says that the world is much better. Everybody's getting better. You know, there is some problems, yes, but generally everything is getting better and better. His what is optimistic? What is it he has? A view of the world. View of the world. A view. He's looking at the world, right? He's looking at the world. And he sees uh, hope. And he sees possibility of good change. This is his view. Opinion. That's okay. Maybe 30% possible. But 70% would say, view. Attitude of the world, no. Attitude to, view of, opinion of, or opinion on, you can say opinion on sometimes. But attitude is to something. View of something. Mind, no, no, that's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, yeah, his view of the world. You have a view of the world, a view on the world sometimes, view of the world, his view of the world. His attitude to, to the world, you could say maybe his attitude towards the world, is that, that's possible, towards the world, maybe possible. Opinion of the world, yes, maybe. But the best one here is view, please remember view. It's not easy, view and opinion are very similar. Yeah. Number six, you can't change your body, but you can change your... This is mind. Why? Because I said yesterday, I am, I am there is me, me, Gavin, this is body, everything else is mind, so body and mind. Physical, non-physical, body and mind. Right. So you can't change your body, but you can change your mind. You could actually... You could put change or attitude, possible, but the word body suggests that this answer has to be mind. On its own, you can say, you can change your attitude, you can change your view, you can change your opinion, you can change your thoughts, thoughts, plural, and you can change your, yeah, all four is possible. You can change your view, your attitude, your mind, your opinion, it's all possible with the word change. Ra, transform. This is Lo Jong, Ra. Lo Jong, we had yesterday, Lo Jong, mind training. You can transform. Some people translate Jong as transform. Gurua. So you can transform your mind, train your mind, change your mind. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You can't change your body, but you can change your mind. Oh. You can choose your friends, but you can't choose your parents, we say. <laughs> you can choose your friends, but you can't choose your parents. Right there. <laughs> right there. Okay, is that clear? So these four words, five words, sorry. 
These five, please. They all have same meaning, but some, you know, you have to know which is the best one to use in context. Okay. Start the removal. Then, um, what should we do now? Quarter past three, half past two, yeah. Uh, let's go back to Lama um, Chamu. Today is Friday, so if we can finish today, it'd be good. Otherwise, by Monday, you will forget everything. Well, I will forget everything. So, where are we up to? That's a couple lesson. Hmm? Huh? Mindfulness of death. Did did we finish this? Love side of it. Mindfulness of death. We talked about mindfulness. Yeah? Mindfulness. Mm-hmm. Mindfulness, yeah. Mindfulness means to oh, uh? That's a translation of mindfulness. But what does it mean in English? To be aware of, to be, uh, yeah, but to be, take care, to be mindful of something, yeah. Mindful, mindfulness. Mindfulness of it. Mindfulness of it. The contemplation. Contemplation, I said yesterday, is more to, like some serious thinking is contemplation. Ordinary thinking is just thinking, thinking, thinking. Contemplation. It's like meditation, thinking. What you say, uh, this jegom. Jegom, yorwa. Jegom is contemplation, thinking, analyzing. What is this? What is this? This is contemplation. Seriously thinking. Um, what's it? Got it. Rings, ring do me neba, jesu temba samba. Although, you know, in the Tibetan they got Sampa. So you, uh, previously Sampa was translated as thought, attitude, now contemplation. So this one word has been translated three different ways. But that's okay because Sampa maybe, you know, has many meanings in Tibetan and many meanings are also in English. Contemplate. You could say thinking thinking that you will not remain long in this world, co- the contemplation. Mm. Mindfulness of death, comma, which is, this is extra information, therefore there is a comma, and you can put which is, mindfulness of death, we're going to look at the comma, maybe on Monday, which is the contemplation that, not which, that you will not remain long in this world. In Tibetan, you don't have this you or one, right? You don't have. You doesn't mean you. You means everybody in English, right? We call this a universal you. Some people say one. In English, we like the word one. One will not remain. But in America, I used to write one, and my editor says, no, 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 you write you. So now I write you because, you know, it's more informal, right? But in Tibetan, it's not there. Kirang, there's no kirang there, right? But in English, you have to put something. You have to put a subject. And you is okay. These days, you is a. <coughs> old books, they would say one. One means, you know, one means whoever. But these days, you is okay. You will not remain long in this world. Then, contemplating what will occur in your future life, the happiness or suffering of two types of beings. Um, uh, so, again, contemplating, you could put, you could put, if you want to, don't want to use Gerund, you can say, the contemplation of, like, you know, in the first one, you can use the contemplation of or the contemplation that. You can choose. 
not necessary to contemplating. You can say contemplation of what will occur. That's okay too. Contemplating what will occur. Occur is jurwa, what will happen in your future life. Now, <laughs> this is a jiten chima. Ve, jiten chima. Dele jiten chima. Teng sum doa. One is translated future lives. Next one is translated as next life. And this is future life. So three different ways they have translated Jitin uh, Chima. In your future life. In your next life. Semi, uh, colon. The happiness or suffering of the two types of beings. Um, have we done this? Have we done? Did we talk about drawer and migrator? Did I talk to you? Oh, okay. Then, 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 next one is mindfulness of death. The contemplation that you will not remain in long in this world. Mindfulness that has four parts. And before he said four divisions, and then and then is presented in four sections. So sections. Divisions, parts. Yewa. Yewa shi yore. Parts, divisions, sections. It's all okay. I like parts. It's short. Wa. It's okay. Sections is a little bit like there's this section and this section. You know, in, in, in a university has a language section and like a department. You know, section is a little bit like. Divisions is okay. Parts is okay. Mm. So, uh, the faults of not cultivating mindfulness of death, the benefits of such cultivation, the kind of mindfulness of death you should develop, how to cultivate mindfulness of death. Ah. I did it. Mindfulness of death has four parts. The faults of not cultivating mindfulness of death. Chua Jamba Ma Gombe Nyimik. Nyimik. Nyimik he's translated as faults. Okay, some people translate this as disadvantage. Some people as faults. It's okay. A fault. Fault is also kyan, you know, kyan yore. Some people say kyan is fault. Koa nyemik, koa kyan dugure, koa kyan, koa kyan dugure. Koa nyemik, the faults of samsara, uh, the disadvantages of samsara. Okay. Fault. Fault is when something goes wrong. This, this is a mistake, there's a fault. Your computer is broken, there's a fault. Not an error, not a mistake. That's different. Error, mistake, fault is different. Mistakes and an, I say, not true, true, not This different mistake, a fault. So fault means something has gone wrong. All right. Rere, uh, fault. Mm. You understand fault? Yeah, the fault of this. We say the machine is faulty, it doesn't work. It's faulty. There's something wrong with it. That's fault. So fault is okay. Then here, uh, the faults of not cultivating. Now he's translated gom as cultivate. So usually gom is meditate, right? But gom gets in is not. Gomti is gom, the word gom is like gomti. It means to sort of do something again and again and again and again until it comes out. So cultivating is is okay. So because you um uh, here jamba ma gomba. So jamba ma gomba, not cultivating an aware mindfulness of death. If you say meditating on mindfulness of death, doesn't sound right. You meditate on something. You meditate on maybe a deity or... But here cultivating is good. Yesterday someone said cultivating. 
when we're talking about kiaba, meaning generate, develop, cultivate. All these things are the same. You know, you could develop a mindfulness of death. You could generate a mindfulness of death. You could cultivate a mindfulness of death. It's all possible. Cultivate means to grow. You cultivate is usually used for farming. Shinga. Shinga lega cultivate. You cultivate rice, wheat, barley. You cultivate it. Yeah. It means to grow. You cultivate. Slow, you know. We call it cultivation, you know. So yeah. Generate electricity. Generate money. You can generate money. A company has to generate money, has to make money, generate money. Farmer has to cultivate crops, right? Um, uh, people have to develop in their body and in their mind. They're all the same meaning. Some long, some short. Generate is usually short. Cultivate and develop are long. But the meaning is the same. Here, cultivate is good, I think. Cultivate. Mindfulness of death. Da. Gomba. Otherwise, gomba. Now, here in Tibetan, gomba is in past tense. Well, bao sa gata no gomba sa gomba is past tense. Because if it's, you know, first of all, it's not done, and then after comes a nyimik, right? That's why in Tibetan it's in past tense. But in English, we don't need past tense. We just need this part um, of uh, not, faults of not cultivating, you know? That's just simple participle, part of the verb. You don't have to try. If, if the Tibetan is future or present, or the English doesn't have to be, not, not necessary. If you want to put it in past tense, you'd say the faults of not having cultivated. That's good. That's correct. Of not having... Having cultivated means that it's past, you cultivate it, and then after... You no, know, you don't cultivate it, then afterwards comes his nimic, right? So f- is cause and effect, right? First you cultivate, then you have the penyun. First you don't cultivate, then you have the nimic. So mindfulness of death. That did it. nipa. The benefits, the penyun. So penyun and nimic are usually opposite. So shua um, dumba penyun. You know penyun. Ben, usually translated as benefit, huh? The curry pengeres, you know. What is the use? What is the benefit? You know, the curry pengeres, pentok curry, pen yuns, and marve. What are the benefits? Ah, benefit. It's of no ben. Benefit is not usually f- informal language. Not usually. We say help. You know. If you use benefit, it's usually used as. Um, Something that helps another person, say, for example, if the poor have no money, then the government gives them money. This is called benefit. We say housing benefit. Helps money. And that is usually how the word benefits. People who have, in our country, if you have no money, you, the government gives you money. This is called benefits. Benefit. We have some, sometimes there are whole streets of people who are not working. We say there's Benefit Street. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little bit, you know, oh, they're just lazy, they're not working there. They're benefit cheats, they're benefit people, you know. So benefit is a little bit formal for help, okay? The benefits of such cultivation, such do they? Gomba Penyun. Such would be Dendre Gomba Penyun, Dendra, Dendra, but it's okay. Such is dendra. You could say the benefits of such refers back to cultivation of mindfulness of death. So instead of saying benefits of cultivation of mindfulness of death, you can just put such. Then such, when you, it refers back to the previous ones, it is uh, dendra or dindra. Or dendra goma, dendra gomba penyun. Dendra gomba penyun. Please, do you know how to use such? It's a very, it's very useful. Mm. Sometimes 
Uh, such means very, right? He was such a good singer. This was such a good meal. It means very good, right? Yeah. Such a. Uh. Such a uh means very. But if there's no a, uh, it means tender. Mm. Yeah, like that. Um, like, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. No, no, so, yeah. If, if it's adjective, it means very. Such a good, yeah. But if it's with a noun, it can mean dende. Such a person is not to be trusted. You say, oh, some people are very bad. They are very, they don't, they steal, they tell lies, da 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 da. Such a person, mi denda mi, denda mi rewe, mi denda. Is not to be trusted. Such, use it like this. Please, this is, if you don't know such, you have to learn it because it's very useful. Mm. Like this, yeah. Normally it's used adjective. Oh, such a lovely meal. Such a lovely, such a adjective noun. But if it's no adjective, it means denda. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Such is the way. Such is life. We say, such is life. That means say dendare. Such is life. Means say dendare. Such is life. Say la vie. You know this expression? Such is life. Hmm. Such. There's another meaning of such. I can't remember now. You do such, you do s- in such a way. Uh, in such a way, in such a way. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, please, such denda, denda, denda. Such kind of The kind of mindfulness of death you should develop. Chiwa denda lo, dirve. Chiwa dende, mare. Chiwa dende lo, jitabu. Ane, jitabu, jitabu. Jitabu means. Um, what kind of? What kind of? Normally, kind and type. The type of, the kind of, yeah? Kind of. You understand kind, huh? Uh. Mm. The kind of death, the kind of mindfulness of death. Um, you should develop. Here, kyapa is translated as develop. Right? Because Jerumbuche is not used gomba, he is used kyapa. So the translator has changed from cultivate to develop. But actually, in English, not much difference between gomba and develop and generate. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Such good tea. Such good tea. Not such a good tea, because tea is um, uncountable. Such good tea. Such lovely weather. Such cold weather. (laughs) Such wonderful students. (laughs) Then how to cultivate mindfulness at number four. Uh, sometimes sul can be translated as the way to cultivate, how to cultivate. It doesn't matter. Sul is the way. Sul wa, the way. Sul is tab wa, tab the way. How you know? Some sul, the way you think, the way of thinking, the way. Ah, the way is you know that did it. Okay, Tambo, the faults of not cultivating mindfulness of death. As previously mentioned, there are four errors that impede your taking full advantage of life. Now, Tambo ni, de tar, de rwe ten la nyingbo lemba la chukpa la chingke lopa shi. Now, what the translators have done here, de tar, here means like that, but what 
Jay Rinpoche is referring to something that he has spoken of before. So the translators have put as previously mentioned. This is not in the Tibetan, but it is kind of there. It's kind of understood to be there. Detar, like that, means like I said before. So this is the translator helping the reader. Actually not, if they don't want to help the reader, they can just say, like that. But then the reader says, like what? I don't know, like what? So this is as previously mentioned. <laughs> there are four errors. Here, error. That impede your taking full advantage of your life. There are four errors. Chinki lok ba shi, chinki lok. This chinji lo is usually like mistaken, mistaken view. Chinji lok ba, chinji lok ba, chinji ma, yore, chinji ma lok ba, wa, chinji lok ba, chinji ma lok ba. Shi, there are four errors that impede. Kore, nimbo lembo chupa la. Tawa tinjono nimbo lemba la chupa la Impede yo marba Impede mindo la chupa la So something is not here Impedes in impede means gakpa. It stops. It stops. Impedes in gakpa je to stop. Impede, right? It impedes. Uh, it, it, if you're driving along the road and there is a big truck, the truck is impeding you. Normally, it's used like, for example, if you're if you're watching a in a certain movie and some person is in front of you and he's very tall. You can't see. You say, excuse me, you're impeding my view. You're impeding. That's how it's used. So here, impede is not in the Tibetan, huh? Not in the Tibetan. Unless something is missing in the Tibetan. It makes sense in Tibetan. Going into. It makes sense in Tibetan. Hmm? It's like Ningbo Lemba La Jukba La Gakba. It's like the t- translators have put an extra word here because it, to translate without this word doesn't make much sense in English. So Jukba, this word Jukba is to engage, engage in, right? Engage in. I don't know. You're Tibetan, you tell me. It makes sense in Tibetan, this? Anyway, it doesn't matter. The word Jukpa, please, when you see the word Jukpa, normally it means to enter or to engage. Chanchu Semba Chabala Jukpa, engaging in. Engaging in. Some people say entering, but I don't think that's entering, it's just the beginning. Huh? Engaging means full, 100%. Engaging. Shukpa, past tense, in, you know, is you are engaged. So engaging, jukpa. Umala jukpa. Engaging in the middle way. Some people say entering the middle way. Okay. I think in Sanskrit, avatara. I think it means enter. Any Sanskrit scholars here? I will ask my roommate, uh, Mr. Sangasen. In my guest house, there's uh, one Indian Sanskrit scholar. He is translating um, one poem on King Ashoka. 
into, from Sanskrit into Hindi. And he's 84 years old, but his mind is very bright, very clear, very sharp, and better than much sharper mind than me, much sharper. I will ask him what avatar means. But anyway, often jupa normally means to engage in. So if you translate jupa as engage, it's okay. Here, it's not engage, huh? impeding your taking full advantage. So I would say maybe if you want to use jukpa, you should put something like that prevents you from engaging, stops you in, from engaging, jukpa, engaging in ingolemba. Now, uh, they've translated Delvaten as your life. Um, full of bunch of your life. It's not quite right, huh? Delvaten. This, the ten is this human body is a ten, right? And it's a Delvaten because with this human body we can do. So Ten is normally translated as basis. So Delva Ten is normally translated as basis for leisure. But it sounds a little bit strange in, in English. You know, ten. Normally ten is something uh, which supports something else, right? Ten. So ten is a support or a basis. And then you have temba. Ten temba. Ten is a basis. Chuten. Yeah, for Chuten, as a basis for offering, right? Chuten, Kuten, a statue, Kuten. So, Den, it's a very difficult word to translate. Very Because when you put it in English, it does. It sounds strange. We don't say basis for opportunity, basis for leisure. We don't say that. So the translators here have decided, oh, forget it, we'll just say life. But what they should say is human life. Because Delva Ten is a human life, a human life of leisure, of oppo- a human life of leisure and opportunity. Maybe that's better. But this, this your life. But that's a, I mean, okay, you know, this is Dungur, not Sikur. So you know, full advantage, Ningbo Lemba. Now what the translators have done is that these four, they have put these four. So they put these square brackets, right? Um, and they've said, what are these for? This is not in the Tibetan, but it's in the Tibetan previously. It is in Laman Chamo, but... Before the benefit of the reader, they have put these four in. And they have used square brackets. Now, there are two types of brackets, right? There's this one, and there's this one. There are different ways of using these. Normally, if you believe, some translators use square brackets to put something in English which is not directly in the Tibetan. Like, for example, you know, as we say, in Tibetan don't use kira, uh, they don't use... They don't use um, Sometimes the, the verb is not there, right? For example, so in Jinbe Longje, Tungi De, some translators would put um, through giving comes, and comes is in brackets, wealth, and through eth- ethics comes happiness, and, and comes is in brackets, square brackets. This means that although that this word come is not in the Tibetan, we can understand it as being in the Tibetan. When they use this bracket, this parenthesis, that is to indicate this is the translator speaking now. That's one rule. But this here is different. Me, I never use brackets. I never, never, in, in wisdom publications, never use the square brackets. Never. Sometimes we might use circular, uh, semicircular brackets, because I want to say something, for example, you know, that uh, 
you know. The only time we use square brackets is to indicate page number. But here, this is their decision. So, and these four are conceiving the impure to be poor, suffering to be happiness, impermanent to be permanent, and the selfless to have a self. That's Shirava. Mitsangwala Tsangwa. Tungela Tewa. Mitabala Takpa. Takmela Tak. Ve. Get it. Conceiving means, this is conceiving means this Tokpa. Tokpa Chaba. This thinking, Sampa. Conceiving. Takosa. Mm. Um, initially, it is merely the conception of the impermanent to be permanent that is the avenue of much injury. Initially, 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 first, in the beginning, first of all, they have different meanings, right? Okay? Initially and first of all uh, have the same meaning. First is not is different. First means first, second, third, fourth, yeah. First there is this, then there is this, then there's first. First is a Tonga Gyawa Chik Tangbo. Tangbo. First of all is Tangbor Togmar. First of all means at the beginning or in the beginning, initially, it's all the same. Tangbor. Tangbor away. Oh, Tangbor, look, look. So, you know, please remember that. First, comma. First of all, comma. Initially, comma, do it. Yeah, initially, comma. There's a difference between. Uh, these are little silly mistakes, but. Everyone makes these mistakes. First you do this. Second you do this. Third you do this. That's first. First of all, develop renunciation. Se then, you can first of all develop compassion. Then you can practice Tantra. First of all, in the beginning, initially. <coughs> ah. Initially it is merely the conception it's merely the Kanzara. It's merely the conception of the impermanent to be permanent that is the avenue. Avenue is no karada. Avenue is no lamka marbe. Lamka. Avenue. Go. Go. Lamka. We say avenue, you know. In New York, all the streets, First Avenue, Second Avenue, Third, you know, Forty yeah, Second Avenue, yeah. In America, they call their streets avenues. We say streets or road. They say avenue. But drosare, drosa. But drosare wa. So you can say avenue. This is the gateway, the road, the pathway. But drosare, avenue. Um, it is merely the conception, conception, tokba. I'm not looking at Tibetan yet. Uh, of the impermanent to be permanent, that is the avenue of much injury. So, in Tibetan it says, Mitakpa la takpar zimbar. Mitakpa la takpar zimba. This word zimba. Zimba obviously means, of course, to hold, right? Doji zimba. Doji zimba. Holder, you know. But, you know, Zimba, when Zimba is used as a function of the mind or the consciousness, you know, we say, Bumba Zimba Mikshe. Ra. Bumba Zimba Mikshe. The eye consciousness apprehends, usually, ho not holds, apprehends the pot. You know, Bumzin Mikshe. Yeah? Or, you can say bumzin uh, tokpa. The conception apprehends the pot, or you want to be short, the conceptualization or the co what's he got here? Conception where? Or conception of. Conception is 
only for Dokpa. For, for uh, Musu, you can't say conception. Impossible. Conception is only Nam Dokpa. Dokpa is in there. You think I, 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 the mind that thinks, the mind that apprehends, the mind that conceptualizes I. This is Zimba. So Zimba is a very important word in Lorik. Sometimes if it's apprehend, that's okay. For, you know, Dra Zimba Nashe. How you translate? Drazimba nashe. Huh? How you translate? Drazimba nashe. Di nashe da wa? Sound? Drazimba nashe kare. In English. Come on. I, I, I. Nge, nge, I'm so karangi drazimba zingio mare. Nashe is na kare. Nashe. Ah? Yeah, consciousness, yes, okay, but a little bit more technical. Um, audio consciousness, you can audio, audio consciousness, oral, A U R L, but ear consciousness, okay. Dra, dra, zimba, yeah, so dra zimba nashe. Oh, what used to say? Dra zimba nashe. We change around. What comes first? The air consciousness? Which or that? <laughs> that. That. Not conceptualize. Apprehends. Conceptualize only for thoughts. The air consciousness, or you can forget that. The air consciousness apprehending sound. It's enough. The ear consciousness apprehending sound, or that apprehends sound. Some people say hold or grasp. Or some people say comprehend, but I think apprehend is good, you know, apprehend. Even uh, in, we use apprehend like uh, when the police catch somebody, they say the police has apprehended him. There are. This is old English. If you read Indian newspapers, they have this old English. The police apprehended the suspect. <laughs> Apprehend actually means like this. Uh, Apprehend means to catch. Zimba. Uh, so it's important. Ra uh, Zimba. But if you I say um Bumsin Tokpa, how you translate Bumsin Tokpa? Bumba Zimbe Tokpa. Bumsin Tokpa. Bumba Chikche. Zimba, chikche. Tokpa, chikche. Yeah, just three terms. Bumba is what? Huh? A what? Pot. Not pot. 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 Try and speak like English people. Pot. <laughs> ah. And how you translate tokpa? Conceptualizing consciousness, or yeah, yeah, or uh, uh, yeah. yeah. On its own, we can say a, a, a tokpa is a conceptualizing mind or conceptualizing consciousness. You can say that. You know? Usually, concept is the object, concept, or all three. But if you're just talking about the the uh, the mind, the subject, you have to say something like conceptualizing consciousness. Yeah. Then Zimba. The apprehending is okay. The apprehending, what? Huh? How many pots? One, two, three. Any pot? A pot, not pot. Yeah, it's difficult. <coughs> in this, in Colorado, you know, in this conference in Colorado, there was this. I was seeing this man called, his name is called Tom Tillerman. He's editor of uh, 84,000. He was talking about, you know, how if you say Bumba in Tibetan, Bumba, and you say Bumba is Chi, and uh, Sebum is Jeda, you know, Chita Jeda. So 
if you say you know, Sebum is Jadak of uh, Bumba, right? So how do you translate Bumba? You say pot, pots, or a pot? It's a difficult question. Because in Tibetan, there is no uh, the. In English, we have to say either a pot, or the pot, or pots. We have to choose. A pot. And um, so, um, a serbum, uh, gold pot, right? Golden pot, is a uh, particular jeta, or a particular, or how you say, um, yeah, particular, it's okay, yeah, particular, or specific of what? A pot. Is it? If you say a golden pot is a specific of a pot, then my art question is, which pot? A pot means one pot, right? This is gold. No, this is zabum, right? This is zabum, right? Clay pot is a specific of what? A pot? Which pot? No, no. A clay pot is a specific. This is clay pot. Zabum dan bumba kagarawa. So, this is a specific of a pot or of pot. If you say it's a specific of a pot, and then my question is, of which pot? It can't be a specific of it itself. It's impossible. But if you say of pot, in English is grammatically incorrect. But if you say pots, that's strange too. Because it's bumba is not mangsik, is it? It's very difficult in English. Very, you know, if you, when you debate, you translate debate into English. It's crazy. It doesn't work. No. Because, like, you know, this word yopa, ye, you know, you say, um, uh, huh? General pot. Sounds like somebody in the army. <laughs> general pot, sir. You can't say general pot. You can say a general pot. But a general, a general, what is a general pot? Show me a general pot. Is this a general pot? Is this a general pot? You're not sure. So show me where is general pot? All the pots. So if all the pots are a general pot. So this is general pot. It's difficult. It's not easy. I, I don't know answers, honestly. It's not easy to talk about these things. Chi and jeda. General pot. <laughs> Empty pot, <laughs> teapot, <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah, it, it, it's not easy. Um, so, boom. So, where are we? <laughs> well, ah, Zimba, Zimba, Zimbare. So, here it's got data mi takpa takpa Zimba, ching kare. Chinchilo, mm. Chinchilo, Nyi. He translated Nyi as merely here. Initially, it is merely the conception. But I don't think Nyi means merely. Huh? Nyi means the, you know. It's not usually me merely. Merely is usually Tam. Tokpa Tak, Tam. Tam, usually. Tam. Merely, just. I don't think ni here means ni. What does ni mean here? Corner. Oh, yeah, yeah, corner. Yes, 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 yeah, corner. Mm, yeah. But merely can mean corner. Yes, yes, it can mean corner, of course. But no, merely something means some, you know. De corner ni. That and that alone. If you say it is just, maybe but better than merely. It is just. The miscinculok conception. He draws a chinchilok as conception. 
before is translated as error. Ah. Huh? Sorry? Hmm. I think it needs more than conception. Misconception, maybe. Um, which holds mm. So, you understand, I know, uh, Denis Ladin, right? Denis Ladin, you know, Ladin. Yeah, and the Denis Ladin, normally in English, can be translated as, you know? Tokpo Drawo Zimbar. Yeah, Zimbar again, Zimba. Tokpo. Tokpo re. Inea. Nge. View, opinion. Tatil. Kondra. Drawo re. Tokpo Drawo Zimba. How you translate that in English? Start with Zimba. Here, well, how you translate Zimba? Apprehending? Holding? I see. He's my friend, but I, you know. What do I, huh? Sorry? What's the, how do you, tra how would you translate Zimba here? Drawo, what's his? Tokpo Drawo Zimba. Huh? Consider? Consider is like tsipa, mother tsi tsi. It's possible, consider. It's possible, but what about regarding? Holding. Holding is okay here. Holding what? Huh? No, no. Ana, tokpo drawo zimba. Not drawo tokpo zimba. Tokpo, tokpo, muni tokpo re. Sorry? No, 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 no. No, tokpo drawo zimba. Holding a friend as an enemy. Not the, no. <laughs> Holding friend as an enemy. He's friend. But I see him or her as an enemy. So Zimba, I hold... I hold... This is my friend. But I hold this friend. I regard this friend. I consider this friend. Consider is okay. As... An enemy. This ladun is as, as holding, impermanent as, impermanent. No, <laughs> holding Im impermanent as permanent. Holding impermanent to be, chikpare, to be and as chikpare. Holding a friend to be an enemy. Here he has um, oh, to be. The conception of the impermanent. As it permanent or to be impermanent, same. So when you see this Dini Ladun, normally, many times you can translate as, yeah, as, as, ra, like this. Mm. You know, yeah. Buddha, he, um, Kaisa, when you see in the text, you know, this, uh, I say, uh, Karisa, mm, Lama, Yidam, 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 do the way. What's after ma, Yidam, ma, Ladun, Ladun, Karada, Yidam, do the way. Yidam, do Shangba, do the way. Yid, do the way. Yidam, do Shangba. The Lama arose as the deity, or something like this, you know. As, do, do. This Ladun can be used as. Very easy. Mm. Ah, cover it. The avenue of much injury. That depends on that. Never go. Ah, go, 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 go. Mm. So go is translating as avenue. But it could be, uh, because probably because they're from New York. <laughs> they're Americans. They, we would never translate this word as avenue. We would say way, or gateway, or road, or uh, path, something like this, but not avenue. But you know, the Americans they do what they like. <laughs> they rule. They rule the world. So we have to sort of. The kaga de a. 
So, so nupa, nupa is uh, we had before. Harm. Here he's translated injury. Remember, I can't remember what was it. We translate nupa as harm, injury, damage, hurt. Right? Nupa gel. So here they translate it as injury. Could I put here harm? What if I put avenue of much harm? Is that possible? Yeah. What an avenue of much uh, damage? Not really, no. Possible, but sounds strange. What about hurt? Much hurt? Hmm? No, hurt is mostly used as a verb, okay? You can use as a noun, possible, but normally it's a verb. I hurt you, you hurt me. Well, also much, not many, please. If it, if the, if it is much is for singular nouns, much money, not many money. If the noun is uncountable, it's much. If it's countable, it's many. Okay, many is for plural. Much love, much love to you. Not many love, much love. Did it? You ask. Della, tara ni le rapa metapa, sena chuala. Michi nyambe number topa ni never go. That they are trawa and rapa ni or it. Coarse and subtle. Okay, trawa and rapa, coarse and subtle. Yeah? Sometimes they say rough. Trawa mitakpa, rapa mitakpa. Coarse impermanence, subtle impermanence. It's okay, coarse. Sometimes in English, coarse means bad, you know. Ah, you say, um, six supo. You say six supo. Someone who speaks really badly. Oh, it's, it's coarse language. Coarse. Harsh. Coarse. Harsh, like harsh, yeah, harsh, yeah, yeah, harsh. Harsh is more hurtful. Coarse is just like sort of shame, eh, but it is a coarse mind. No, he has a coarse mind. Like, this is a, they have a coarse. Sometimes coarse is uh, like jumbo maimba. This is not coarse, you know? Sometimes something is coarse, you know, like your skin is coarse. This is rakpa, right? But rakpa and then ta means subtle or fine. Sometimes means fine. Subtle means two meanings. One is difficult to understand and very small. Subtle. You know, atoms are very subtle. You can't see them, right? You can't see them. They're subtle. So there's two meanings. Subtle meaning small and subtle meaning difficult to understand. So you can, you know, subtle. Here's okay, coarse and subtle. That did it. Tara um, mitapa. Coarse and subtle. Of these two, de ni le, de la tara ni le, de ni le. Of these two, of these two, new sentence, right? Of these two, comma. In the case of your course impermanence, which is your death, the avenue of injury is the very thought, I will not die. Mm. So, they have translated course impermanence, um, which is your death. That your Google Marwa. In the case of your your court, you don't need your. In the case of impermanence, uh, we have to finish, I know. 
On the case of we've we left it. I left there. Mitakpa, mitakpa, we leave, we leave there. Um, otherwise, uh, too much. Okay.